Hey there everyone, Phil Show here and welcome to the channel. As there were many positive changes that happened with the Stardew Valley 1.6 update, there were some that weren't expected by anyone. Concerned Ape went all in in changes for some of the existing items which nerfed them to a great extent. So today I'll be covering all of the changes that happened in the new update that nerfed quite a lot of items and functions in the game. But before we begin, consider subscribing to the channel and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. So without any further ado, let's begin. The 1.6 update saw a lot of nerfs on some of the most usable items and crops in the early game and today we'll cover all of them, starting from the most favorite one and that is the tea sapling. The tea sapling that you'll learn from Caroline in her two heart event was the money maker for us all. Most of the players in their newer farms use this, to sell the tea saplings for a lot of gold early game. The price of the tea sapling was 500 gold and you could easily get a lot of them early game. Now the tea sapling's price has been reduced to 250 gold. This lowered the money making potential the early game tea sapling had to the bottom, so this option will not be viable anymore. And another quite valuable item had its price changed and that is the fairy dust. To be honest, this wasn't quite expected from me since both of the items needed to craft it are quite valuable. You need a diamond which sells for 500 gold and a fairy rose which base price is 290 gold. As we can see both items are quite expensive so lowering the sell price of the fairy dust from 500 to 300 seems a bit weird. But maybe the offset now is that you can get this item from golden fishing chests or get it by trading with the bookseller or the raccoon family. What do you think about this little change? Next up we have a little punishment upgrade for when you're knocked unconscious. The game will now be more punishing if you have more money on your character, where the amount of money lost will now scale to how much you have in general. So if you have less money it will be less punishable. Also the maximum lost was increased from 5000 gold to 15000 gold, so we need to be more careful in our mining runs from now on. The mushroom cave also saw a downgrade, in the 1.5 update of Stardew Valley. The mushroom cave was changed to produce mushrooms daily, but now that has been fixed so the mushroom cave will produce mushrooms every second day. This quite limits the money making potential as well as the free food that we have been getting daily for our character. I just love all of my mushroom caves and I'm really sad to see this change being implemented. Next up we have a change that was implemented that affected the casino in the Calico Desert. The machines still work as before, but the price shop has seen a big change. Now there are limits on the amount of items you can get from the casino, and we can no longer get free farm totems from the casino where the max payout is only 20. You can get them, yes, but it's limited now. And also the price of the warp totems has increased from 500 to 1000 tokens. So there goes our easy farm totems that we have been getting all the time. It's quite a sad day. The foraging profession had a change too, which switched out the skill requirements a bit. The charcoal kiln was changed to unlock from foraging level 4 to foraging level 2. The cookout kit from foraging level 9 to 3, where it can be utilized more efficiently. But the survival burger was nerfed where it changed the skill requirement from 2 to level 8, and the tapper was increased from level 3 to level 4. The other profession that changed something was fishing and it only changed the worm bin requirement from level 8 to level 4, so at least we can begin fishing more easily at the early levels. Next up we have a little shop that saw a negative change as well, and that is the dwarf shop. That little guy increased the prices of the bombs he sold at his shop. This makes it a bit more hard to part with the hard earned gold to get a few bombs for an easier farming trip, but when you have the need for that, I don't think that would be an issue. And another merchant which also increased its prices is the famous hat mouse. Like I just don't know what's happening in the world of Sardi Valley, but somehow all of the merchants increasing its prices doesn't bode well. Who knows what's coming. 
he increased the prices on some of the hats he sold. And to his defense, he lives in a rundown house in the woods, so he needs a little extra cash in order to fix it up and survive. I just hope Lewis isn't shaking him down for taxes as well. Like how many golden statues do you need man, come on. Our house also saw a little change, well more specifically Robin's home renovations. The home renovations will now cost money, which is refunded if you undo the renovation. It's nothing much since you get everything you spent if you just undo the renovation. I think it should have been half the price at least so you just don't spam that option but it's quite enough that it's change at least. Now for another item that saw a price change and that is the life elixir. The life elixir's sale price was changed from 500 to 250 gold even though you spend a lot of more expensive materials in crafting it. But still I don't know why would you go and sell that since it's the perfect item for mining trips always keeping you alive. Iridium nodes also saw a small nerf, this time in their prismatic shard drop rates. The drop rate has been decreased from 4% to 3.5%, further limiting the chance of finding one while going around the skull caverns, so it may be quite harder now to get the galaxy sword in the desert. And speaking of prismatic shards, the meteorite prismatic shard drop chance has also been decreased, from 100% to 25%, making it even harder in obtaining one on your farm. And another change that happened to the game, which was concerning the ancient seeds. And they will no longer be available in the traveling cart merchant. This is a big nerf for sure if you plan on acquiring the seeds from there. But hey, we still have the bugs in the mines. But one change in particular I didn't quite like. And that is, you can no longer plant trees in the town. I usually would go around planting trees everywhere to make the area feel more alive and also get more wood along the way. But now sadly the town area will be off limits from my green thumb. But still luckily we have the wood for that at least. Also, harvesting forage crops that were planted from wild seeds now will give you much less foraging experience but also grant some farming experience as well. This to be honest is a good change since that's what we were doing in the first place, farming them. So I can't complain much here. But it's a nerf nonetheless. And with that I covered all of the nerfs that we got in the new 1.6 update of Stardew Valley. Some items were targeted more than others and these changes really impact the way you play the game. The most important ones on the list for me were the tea saplings and the farm totems which are quite useful for us in the early and mid game. So seeing this made me a bit sad. But with all of these changes it won't truly affect the end result since we will constantly find other ways to improve ourselves in the game. Which of these nerfs hit you the most and which one you didn't expect? Let me know down below. But everyone, that's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel so you get notified of my future updates. I hope you all have a great day and I will see you all in my next one. But till then, stay safe!